Planning a trip to Utila can be challenging, especially for first timers. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of my lessons learned from traveling to Honduras, including costs, the best activities, what to pack, and an answer to the question, is it safe? With crystal clear waters, an abundance of colorful tropical fish and stunning coral at your doorstep, Utila is a paradise for divers and a truly unique travel destination. Hello fellow travelers, Roimani here and on this channel, I share with you all of my travel experiences and tips in order to help you better plan your travels. So if you don't already, be sure to subscribe and say hello in the comments. Now, if you want to see more about Utila, make sure to go back and watch my first-hand traveling to Utila video linked below in the description. But for now, let's dive right in. Positioned in the Caribbean, just north of the mainland, Utila is the smallest key in the Bay of Islands and is home to around 4,000 people. The island is only about eight miles long and is focused around the town of Utila in East Harbor, which is the center of activity. It's set on a curving bay with two small beaches and dozens of hotels, restaurants, bars, and dive shops. Unlike its sister island, Roatan, that gets daily crowds of tourists pouring in from cruise ships, Utila is more popular among backpackers. It's quaint, unassuming, and just has a very chill vibe. First, let's talk about how to get there. The most inexpensive and efficient way to travel from the US to Utila is to fly into San Pedro Sula, Honduras. From there, you can purchase a 30-minute charter flight to the island in just under $200 per person. Be sure to check the flight schedules on CM Airlines and Aerolina Sosa. The number of hopper flights have been reduced because of COVID, but typically you can catch a morning or afternoon flight to the island. This is my favorite way to go because it's less travel time and the view from the sky just as you approach Utila is just stunning. It's like you can see straight to the bottom of the ocean, right to the coral reef. A definite must see. Okay, but don't be surprised. Utila doesn't have a airport, just a very small landing strip. Other options to get to Utila, you can take a ferry from La Sieba, but that makes for a very long day by adding a four to five hour drive from the airport to the port and then a 45 minute ferry, which I've done and really don't recommend. You can watch my previous video to see why. And then the most expensive route to go is through Roatan. Bonus tip, one thing that I was really surprised by after my visit was how easy it was to communicate with the locals because most residents do speak English, therefore no language barrier. Okay, now let's talk about what to pack. Travel very light. This is not the type of place you wanna haul several suitcases around. Pack mostly t-shirts or tank tops, shorts, sundresses and bathing suits, a long sleeve shirt or rash guard, and hiking pants, light rain jacket. <laughs> nice hat, flip flops, and don't forget the water shoes. You will definitely need them for the beaches. Life on the island is very casual. One backpack and one carry-on will do. No need to bring the stilettos and runway attire. <laughs> do make sure you bring lots of sun protection and mosquito repellent. There are lots of mosquitoes and sand fleas 
due to the lush tropical vegetation, it's pretty much guaranteed that you will experience a mosquito or sand flea bite. And no, DEET does not work on the sand fleas. I like to use a DEET alternative called Proven. I put a link in the description below for you, but also I did learn of a good local hack. You can either wear long sleeves and long pants or cover your entire body with a thick layer of baby oil or coconut oil. So when those tiny little bastards jump on you to bite, they drown in the oil. My first time visiting, I had 72 bites in less than three days. It is no joke, people. Cover up. <laughs> All right, getting around. There are only a few roads, since much of the island is impenetrable wilderness, accessible only by sea. So most of the transportation in Utila consists of scooters, bicycles, quads, golf carts, water taxis, and local taxis called tuk-tuks. You can also get around the main streets just by walking. It takes approximately 20 minutes to walk from one end of the main street to the other. I was fortunate enough to stay on the south side of the island in a privately owned residence, which does add another layer of complexity because getting into town from there means having to take a water taxi through the mangroves. But the good news is that we were just walking distance from Neptune's, which offers free water taxi service to and from town from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. But if you're in town and you miss that last water taxi, you'll have to hire your own personal one or bite the bullet and rent a room in town for the night. Personal water taxi can cost anywhere between $8 and $15, depending on the time of day. And the tuk-tuks will charge anywhere around $10 to $15 as well. Keep in mind, the tuk-tuk drivers only take cash and they will not accept old dollar bills with tears or too many creases. And this is pretty much applicable across the board anytime you're paying with cash. They will only accept brand new crisp bills. It's actually really annoying, but they will hand it right back to you. I highly suggest bringing small bills, ones, fives, and tens. It's so much easier that way. Better yet, Convert your US dollars to Honduran Limpera right at the airport when you arrive. This avoids a lot of the hassle. $100 should be plenty for a week's worth of transportation. And if you have money left over, you can always purchase cocktails before you leave Utila. Some fun activities. Renting quads is a super fun way to explore the north side of the island. You can get to Pumpkin Hill and find the freshwater caves. You can rent ATVs for a couple of hours at approximately 35 US dollars each. Or you can visit the beaches. There are a couple to choose from in Utila, most being of the soft, sand and clear water variety, there are two main beaches that are on opposite ends of the main road, Chepez Beach and Bondo Beach. Or you can go to the south side to Neptune's for some snorkeling and beach chilling. Neptune's is a bar, restaurant and grill that is located out of the main part of town. They have a beautiful long dock and a private beach for you to enjoy. I highly recommend using their free water taxi service to head out there early so you can enjoy as much time as possible there. The number one activity to do on the island is to go scuba diving. No matter where you're staying on the island, finding a dive shop is not difficult. This reef is the largest of its kind in the Northern Hemisphere, 
and boasts not only stunning coral reefs and tropical fish, but thrilling encounters with sea turtles, reef sharks, and whale sharks. If you're a non-diver, you can definitely still enjoy snorkeling off the beach. Just be prepared with proper rash guard shirts and water shoes to protect you from the coral. Or just chill on the beach. All right, and finally, let's talk about safety. Unlike the mainland, where there are still drug-related crimes, Utila is a small, peaceful little island that is actually one of the safest places you can travel to. I've always had a great time there and never felt like I was in any kind of danger. Utila has a very small town vibe where everyone knows everyone. And so crime is very low. But that's not to say you shouldn't take necessary precautions. Avoid walking around alone at two in the morning. Keep valuables out of sight. Don't flash around big wads of cash. And as a general rule of thumb, treat people with respect and kindness, and you too shall be treated the same way in return. I really hope this video was helpful to you. If you're interested in the best activities and places to go on the island, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. Or let me know in the comments if there's a different topic you want me to cover in my next video. And as always, thanks for watching, go with Roe.